Okay, so to get started, I got the color dip powder that I want to use. This is called No Drama Mama. I had also picked up a pinker pale one if I ever wanted to use another color that's more neutral. This is called Female Phenom. I was also informed that you had to pick up the top coat, the activator, and then also the base coat. I went ahead and purchased this file just because I don't really have a nail file that's nice. Um, mine was kind of worn down, so I got this one. Um, it also came with directions, but I think I had thrown them away. But first, you kind of want to shape your nails how you want them to look. And then also buff off a little bit of the top so it can really like grip on. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we're all filed down, I'll go ahead and open up the color. This is what the powder looks like. It's very fine. This does have a little bit of a shimmer in it. So to start, you're just going to want to take the base coat. And it says that you kind of want to work fast, but you just want to do an even layer. Try not to get it on your skin. And then dip it at a 45 degree angle. And then tap off the excess. I kind of brush it off too, just to make sure it's all off. And then so that is one layer. You can tell I'm not too good at this yet because <laughs> I missed a little spot. But you're going to go ahead and repeat on the same finger. One more coat. Then dip at a 45 degree angle. Tap it off. The reason that I have found to kind of wipe it off is just to make it look a little bit thinner. So you can stop here or you can do one more. I found that three layers was kind of good for me. So I'll do one more thin coat. Dip. Tap it off. Wipe it off. And then repeat for the rest of your fingers. Okay, so now we're going to put a coat of the activator on. This will kind of give it like a matte nail polish look. Now another layer of the base coat. It kind of burns at this step. I'm not sure why. Hopefully it's supposed to because it's done it every time I've done my nails like this so far. Now we wait for this to dry a little bit. So now that it's all dry, you're pretty much just going to buff it off. So you want to make it matte and kind of shape your nail if there's any bumps in it kind of get those out you just want it to look smooth because as soon as the top coat goes on it's done so this is the difference between my nails you can tell the first one the first one is the one that I uh, filed down and the rest are still shiny the parts that I would focus on filing the most is the sides, the top making sure it doesn't feel weird, and then the back by your cuticle. Okay, and now once they are all matte and looking smooth, you're going to put one more coat of the activator on. They're already very hard, but this is going to be the final step. Avoid getting the activator on any like wounds or open cuts if you got them next to your nail. It burns. <laughs> that is all for that. And last, we're just going to wait 20 seconds for this to dry and then we're going to apply two coats of the top coat. So 
So now we'll just apply this top coat. This will make it shiny. And this dries pretty quick, so it's not like you really have to sit around and wait after this part. And that is everything. They're hard, so they last a long time. They don't look too bad. I'm sure that they look nicer if your nails are longer. But for now, this is done. So let me zoom you back out and I will let you know my final thoughts.